fbcoachsimpson.com. This will be day six of uh, what you can do to help fix your buck sweep. Just uh, one quick announcement. I do got, have uh, several things coming up. So Tuesday we're going to have our uh, buck sweep panel in the middle of our wing tee clinic. So big, big day if you're a, a wing tee guy or just interested in learning about the wing tee. Find out more about that through my Twitter or email or anything like that. Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, I got a, I got a, a message about how to handle a backside three technique. So you've got probably something in here. You know, usually is what your teams will try to do to stop us if they're a three front team. We'll get something like this. And so today we're going to talk about how we handle that backside. What I'd call them four eye, slanting four, three, whatever you want to call them. Okay, how are we going to handle him? Well, there are several ways that we handle him. First thing is we're going to cut him if we can get away with that. So we'll cut, uh, and if we can get away with that, that's what we're going to do. If we cannot do that, then we have to read him. If we're going to run bucks week now, I would recommend kind of side note here. If this is the defense you get, run to the weak side because you've got them all slanting there. It just sets up everything you want to run to the weak side. Okay, but. If you want to run buck, you've got to have something in there to read him. And I've put some of these things out on my YouTube and on my website. And I, we've stolen it from somebody, I'm sure. Uh, we try to blend as many good things as we can. And so we would call a steel call, which you'll see a lot of wing tee guys will call. So if we're going to pull here and he's going to chase and we can't get him cut, we can't get him cut, okay, then we're going to go ahead and block the first thread outside. Steel tells this guy to block the first thread outside. And now we're going to read him. So if he comes downhill like this, we're going to pull the ball. Now, what teams will do to you is they'll kind of play you different. Like they're playing zone read type teams. So sometimes this kid will stay home. So if you pull it and he doesn't chase a guard, then you're pulling right into an unblocked linebacker. So we teach our tackle he's going to release outside. If nothing shows up, so let's say we're running, usually we'll run some kind of fast screen or, or bubble screen or something to kind of occupy these defenders. So if nothing shows up out here, we're going to hinge back inside. So it gives your quarterback kind of an escape route. If he does pull it and attacks, and this guy did stay home, okay, theoretically you've got a block here, or we'll triple option it here. So if we get a, a guy coming this way, we'll throw it. If that guy disappears, and they have this guy accounting for your quarterback, you now have a built-in blocker. And so it gives you multiple answers. So it's just one quick thing that we do if we're having a hard time with that backside three 